Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another installment of J Straight Up Reviews and more. All right, so we did yesterday, I did the new Party Box Club 120 up against the Party Box 110. I've already done a kind of a short intro demo for both speakers, the 120 and the 320. Now, we had had a lot of interest in the 320 against the 310. Here we have them. On the left is the Stage 320. And on the right is the Party Box 110. So both of these are going to be running in flat EQ, no adjustments, no bass boost. We'll do that after this. But the 310, I'd always said, kind of had too much of a warm sound to it. But then when they added a couple years ago, they added the app EQ in there. I always bumped it up two notches. So, but we're not going to be running it like that. We're just going to run it flat, both of these in the same. So you get a scenario of how they sound on an equal footing. I was prompted in the 310 because I haven't used it for a while. To do a firmware update software update it's 1.55.0 that should be the most current update and the 320 out of the box said it was up to date probably because it's not out in most of the world definitely not in america so we're going to run these at 27 percent to start with put your headphones on if you have them preferably good ones you don't want to listen to 600 speaker with 7.99 for a three pack of headphones from the dollar tree this doesn't really mix very well all right, so here we go. Like I said, with no bass boost on, flat EQs, 27%. Says the 320 on the left. Three ten. Three twenty. Let's go up to 40%. Change tracks, go to 60%. We're gonna run it, baby. Let's go. Come on. For a second now like i said the 310 without the treble boosted up you can tell it has a warmer sound it's a little muddier sounding like when you get rock music especially can sound kind of muddy and congested sounding you get a little bit of that compared to the 310 sound the 320 excuse me on the left sounds a little more open and clear a little more separation in what's going on with the instruments and stuff so again the firmware updates they've done since like a couple years ago never really addressed the warmer sound of it but you can, like I said, adjust the treble up. All right, back to it. Three twenty. Change track. Let's go up to eighty percent. Fill it out. Three 
10. mentioned the 310 has a little warmer sound when you get the max volume the 320 at least in that track because it, ha it has more treble present in the sound it can get a little borderline harsh there because it's a, and it's a, a little bit louder than the 310 I think I'd seen somebody say they watched a video that said the 310 was louder than the 320 maybe at least not in this setup the 320 appeared to be just a little bit louder mainly partly and due i'm sure to the fact that it is running a little brighter so with that track in particular but we're going to do an enable bass boost one which is more geared towards low bass and see what we have with that okay so i have enabled bass boost one on both speakers they both have a two-stage bass boost bass boost one is more geared towards low bass bass boost two more towards mid bass I changed the light modes on each one of them too, just to keep it, mix it up a little bit. So we're gonna start at 40% on this one. Here we go. This is the 310 on the right. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Three ten. Sounds right, boy. All right, let's go up to sixty percent. Now on this track at least with these being you know all things equal as far as the bass boost one flat eq the 310 on the right seems like it has a little more bass but it's kind of a little more muddy sounding the 320 the bass seems a little more punchy and tight it doesn't seem quite as flabby sounding if you will that's an old subwoofer term you know if your sub sounds flabby it's not that it's that doesn't hit like straight up it's just kind of blah 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 so at least in that aspect, it seems like the 320 doesn't maybe quite have as much bass, but it is more natural and accurate sounding, if you will. All right, back to it. Three ten. 
310. Chase track, let's go up to 80%. Got that spooky buildup. down to 60. All right, so I, what I'm kind of gathering from this is the 320 kind of has a little bit less fullness in the base than the 310. To me, the 310 sounded like it was delivering a little more of that umph, and it seemed like the stuff on the wall was rattling a little bit more than the 320 when it was playing. But the 320 bass seems to, it just sounds a little more crisp, if you will, a little more tight. The 310, like I said, a little flabby sounding, not quite as accurate, if you will, I guess. But I don't know. I mean, the 320, I don't think it depends on what kind of bass you want. I don't think it's as impressive, if you will, at the bass. It may be more accurate, but I don't think it hits as, as hard. So let's put it in bass boost two, which is more mid bass and check that out. All right, so now we're in bass boost two, which is more of an emphasis on the mid bass. So we'll start at 40%. I changed the light modes up again too. This is the 320 on the left. somewhere 310 on the right Three twenty. let's go up to 80 percent Again, it just seems like maybe, at least what I'm hearing is the the old 310 seems like it has a little more, a little bit more meat on the bone, if you will, when it comes to the bass, but it's not as tight and accurate sounding. It's like the 310 
it's kind of like the rougher version of the 320 is the more refined version like if you you know you kind of get what i'm saying so let me go and i'm going to adjust the 310 i'm going to adjust the treble up we're going to go back to bass boost one and we'll run a different track okay so what i was talking about on the 310 with the eq here's the 310 eq now normally everything is just was just running flat I've bumped up the treble two notches, which it only has five settings. So it's up to, to what it is considered its max. I always ran the speaker like this because I thought it sounded better. It sounded a little too dull, a little, didn't have much clarity, if you will. So I'm going to run a track with it like that while, while the 120 is still just in its flat EQ. So little, little apples and oranges, but hey, what the heck. I'm sure somebody's going to complain about it or whatever. There's a couple of Karens that have been saying stuff about how I do my videos. I didn't get the memo from everybody. Hope you hope you get your money back on that one. <laughs> so here we go. This is at 60%. That's the 120. This is bass boost one. Three twenty. Take it up to eighty percent. Let's go to max volume, hundred percent. the way I bumped the treble up the 320 still it looks like you know at max volume you're getting a couple two or three dBs louder so I don't know oh, bump the camera sorry <laughs> I don't know what's going on there but to me the 320 is a little bit louder it's a little cleaner sounding a little more refined if you will as far as the overall presentation of the sound but the 310 seems to have a little more oomph in the low range and I was really surprised because I figured that would kind of be the opposite. So it's not quite as clean sounding, but when you bump the treble up like I did there at the end, it does help it as far as its clarity and a little bit with the separation because when it's not increased the bass, it kind of makes everything a little more dark and muddled up sounding. So there you go, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, man. If you already had the 310, or if you can get the 310, it has been like 369 for a while, 379 or something like that. The Party Box 120, when it comes out, it's gonna be $600. So, ah, man, I, the tight wad that I am, most people probably think I wouldn't be based on what all I've been buying and getting. I don't know that I could say get the one, or excuse me, the 320 as a no brainer because the 310 is still a really good speaker it's just maybe not quite as refined sounding and maybe not quite as loud, but the difference there is not huge. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one. I know a lot of people wanted the 320 to walk all over the 310 to you know justify the, put, that they did actually raise the price. The 550 was retail for the MSRP for the 310. Now it's 600 for the 320. So yeah, the 320 does not walk all over the 310 by any means do i think it's maybe an overall better sound yeah it probably is but is it worth it to spend 
a lot more money, I, that's that's your call. They did kind of, as you can see from the size wise, they made the 320 a little bit shorter and it's just, I measure them, it's about a half inch wider. So it's probably about an inch, inch, a little more than an inch shorter and wider. I'm not sure why they did that because the 110 and the 120 are pretty close to the exact same size. But that's what they did. So let me know what you guys think again in the comments below on this one. If you haven't subscribed already, do it today. It's free. We're on a special. It costs you nothing. This channel is always worth every bit of nothing. And the next thing we're going to do on the docket, if you will, is we're going to do the new 120, 120 against the new 320 to see if the 320 is that much more impressive than the 120. So again, like and subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the videos drop. And we out. That's a wrap.